This is Tomo News for Wednesday, August 9th. You can run, you can hide, but you can't escape this video. The internet is rife with gross pimple and blackhead popping videos, but none so horrifying as this ear blackhead extraction from Taiwan. Why, you ask? Well, this monstrosity features not one, not two, but five bulging blackheads embedded in some poor woman's ear. Even worse, they're all interconnected. But while seeing the gunk get taken out slowly and surely is well and truly disgusting, man, it's hard to look away. It's mostly trying to figure out how the heck this woman got so much nonsense trapped in her ear. <laughs> well, at the same time, being strangely transfixed by all the yick. Fortunately, the whole eight and a half minute body horror show does pay off when the massive chunk of goo finally gets pulled out. Oh, so satisfying. Though with the parting shot being several gaping holes in the woman's ear, you're left to wonder how exactly anyone is supposed to recover from this. Taken road rage to the sidewalks. A woman is lucky to be alive after she was pushed into the path of an oncoming bus by an unknown jogger in West London. The 33-year-old victim was walking on the Putney Bridge at about 7.40 a.m. on May 5th when she encountered a male jogger who was approaching from the opposite direction. Instead of simply getting out of her way, the jogger pushed the woman, sending her flying into the road, landing just inches away from an oncoming bus. Fortunately, the bus driver was able to avoid running the woman over with some quick maneuvers behind the wheel. The jogger ran off while some passengers got off the bus to rush to the woman's aid. What's really crazy is that the jogger came running back across the bridge about 15 minutes later, while the victim was still being helped. And although she tried to speak to him, he completely ignored her and continued on his way. London police are now hunting for the jogger and are appealing to the public for any information about the incident. North Korea now has nuke that fits its missiles. U.S. President Donald Trump is warning North Korea of fire and fury after a Washington Post report revealed Pyongyang has produced miniaturized warheads. A U.S. Defense Intelligence Agency report says North Korea has successfully created a miniaturized warhead for its intercontinental ballistic missiles. The country now has missiles that reportedly range between 180 to 7,200 miles. The agency report also estimates that North Korea has up to 60 nuclear warheads in its arsenal. Russia and the United States still have the largest number of nuclear warheads in the world, estimated at 7,000 and 6,800 respectively. North Korea conducted two ICBM tests last month, showing off the potential to hit most of the continental U.S. In response, the United Nations imposed the toughest sanctions yet on North Korea, a move that was praised by President Trump. However, North Korea said the sanctions would not stop it from developing nuclear weapons and has threatened to make the U.S. pay the price. MTV Star Investigated in Fresh Shark Abuse Video One of the stars of a new MTV reality show is getting plenty of media attention, but for all the wrong reasons. Fishing bro Alex Compothecris is a cast member of Siesta Key, which looks to us like Florida's answer to Jersey Shore. And now wildlife officials in the Sunshine State are investigating whether Compothecris is also the man in this video seen shooting a hammerhead shark. Well, to shoot sharks in Florida waters, but it's unclear where the video was filmed. Activists say the man in the video is indeed Compothecris, and a photo posted to his Instagram account that has since been deleted shows the 22-year-old socialite posing next to a dead hammerhead, wearing the same clothes and Make America Great Again cap as the man in the video. The controversy comes just weeks after we reported another shocking case of shark abuse here at Tomo News, which activists say was carried out by friends of Compothecris. In an interview with People magazine, Compothecris tried to distance himself from the men who allegedly dragged a shark in that video. But it seems to us the video evidence speaks for itself, and the PR damage is already done. Deleting photos from social media and trying to cover your tracks in interviews won't change that. Activists say they have more video evidence of the Siesta Key bro mistreating marine life and may release them soon. They're also calling on viewers to boycott Siesta Key. Taylor Swift groping case comes to court. A former radio DJ accused of groping Taylor Swift told a federal court on Tuesday that he may have touched the pop star's ribs. 
Swift claims David Mueller touched her behind during a photo op before she played a show in Denver four years ago. Lawyers for Mueller argue that this photo of the DJ and his former girlfriend posing with Swift on June 2nd, 2013, prove that he did not grope her. Lawyers for Swift, however, argue that the photo in fact provides damning evidence that he did. Mueller is suing Swift for $3 million in lost earnings after he was fired from his $150,000 a year radio job in the wake of the incident. Swift is countersuing for the token amount of $1, saying she wants to serve as an example to other women in similar situations. Questioned by his defense team in court, Mueller said he may have touched Swift's rib cage or rib or ribs. But Swift's legal team said the singer was absolutely certain she was assaulted and would prove it during the trial, which is continuing. Hey, buzz off, would ya? U.S. officials say an Iranian drone nearly collided with a Navy fighter jet in the latest military skirmish between the two countries. The incident took place in the Persian Gulf on Tuesday when a U.S. Navy F-A-18E Super Hornet circled in a holding pattern above the USS Nimitz aircraft carrier as it prepared to land. According to U.S. officials, an Iranian drone came within 100 feet below and 200 feet to the side of the Super Hornet. Officials say the pilot of the U.S. jet was forced to make an evasive maneuver, and the Navy made repeated radio warning calls for the drone to keep away that were unanswered. The drone eventually buzzed off, and the Super Hornet was able to land safely. The Pentagon says U.S. forces had 35 hostile interactions with Iranian forces last year, up from 23 in 2015. 